Right, so here we are today on the follow-up with the uh, concrete batch pour, um, August 2020. So um, in the first video, oh, hang on, uh, just there, that's our little testing concrete thing that we put in a bag just to test the hardness. So I'm actually demolding um, on the second day after casting. But uh, what I was going to say, like I mentioned in the first video, was that I was a bit concerned that I'd mix the concrete a little bit too dry, which was the case. Um, so if you get any sort of problems with um, bigger bug holes, it's probably down to your concrete mix being a bit dry or a bit too thick. So, but actually, like, you know, as Bob Ross says, you get happy little accidents. So what I'll do with these casts is um, turn them into some kind of rusty, like put some rust effect effects paint onto them so use those holes as as to my advantage for for some effects so if you want to go for that type of effect then of course mix up your concrete thicker but generally speaking we want a kind of slurry uh, consistency so i'll show you this video just to see what happens although the even though like we use the vibrating table and all that type of thing to get the holes out there was still a few holes left in the mix which probably wouldn't um occur if you uh, mix up a nice slurry so just pointing to that fairy door there one of the mushrooms didn't come out properly because the concrete was too dry so as you can see we're demolding all the bits and pieces that we did in the other video you can see more holes there in the uh, skull cast the skull candle holder cast but like i say we'll uh, use that to our advantage in some special effects and we'll do that uh, we'll, we'll put that in a, in a later video also probably around the winter time when we sort of get on to uh, painting and things there's the fossil that turned out quite nice and you see like just using the trowel like, just using the trowel there to uh, get rid of the seam mark and use the trowel to kind of tidy up the bases on the other casts and then the last cast here is the lion. And uh, job done. It was raining on this day when we were uh, taking the cast out. Decasting, demolding. I'm not sure what you call it really. So there's all the um, casts. And we're going to moisten these and wrap them up. And keep them moist and wrapped up for a month to continue the curing process. So that they get to a nice optimum hardness so just using the watering can there even though it starts to rain a lot just after me using this watering can so just wrapping the objects up with uh, plastic bags keep that moisture in and keep that concrete cure in so move the camera there because it started to rain and there we are. So you just need to wait for a month, clean up our moulds and get ready for the next batch. I will do another video with uh, the uh, proper consistency to make some clean statuary casts. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.